Hello friends, with Manchester United receiving the news that Christian Eriksen would be out for at least two months, it meant that they needed to dip back into the transfer market. With the time dwindling, transfer deadline day upon them, they managed to find a deal, and that was for Marcel Sabitzer. He is a very good central midfield player who has the ability to really drive with the ball. But how could he improve Manchester United going forwards? Well, join me today as we head to the tactics board to discuss that exactly. If you enjoy the video, please leave it with a like and subscribe if you haven't for more content like this coming very soon make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss an upload you don't want to miss what's coming up in the near future but now let's talk about Marcel Sabitzer and how he could improve Manchester United before we head to the tactics board let's talk a little bit about Marcel Sabitzer he is a 28 year old Austrian central midfielder from Bayern Munich he hasn't had all too much game time at Bayern Munich but when he played for his previous club which is RB Leipzig he actually played quite a bit and was very very good for them in his last season for RB Leipzig he played 39 times he scored nine goals and got seven assists that's not a bad return at all he's struggled to find his form at Bayern Munich however he is still a very very good player and there definitely are some very high qualities in there but how would he affect Manchester United and this Manchester United team going forwards well let's have a look here is Marcel Sabitzer in this Manchester United team. As you can see, I've gone for quite a different formation. Normally, Manchester United would play in a 4-2-3-1. However, I've gotten them in a different kind of situation. Normally, Casemiro would be over on this side. Eriksen would play this role, and you'd have Fernandes come in to this central attacking midfield position, and they would occupy that 4-2-3-1 formation. That being said, utilising and getting the likes of Sabitzer, I do actually think Manchester United will be able to benefit from that in a different way. I think they can become more attacking. As you can see, I've got a 4-3-3 here with Casemiro as the main lying centre defensive midfielder. This means that Bruno Fernandes and Sabitzer are the two central attacking midfielders, both one on the left and one on the right. With Sabitzer's pace and energy, I do think he's going to be able to help out with the defensive structure of Man United when they're going backwards. But also at the same time, because he's not necessarily defensively inclined, I think pushing him further forwards would actually help Man United going forwards and help them actually in a more defensive sense occupying and leaving that space at the same time will allow Shaw to drift in and out whenever he needs to this will help United with their possession help out Casemiro whenever they need to and also drags another body into a different area this unlocks Sabitzer and allows him to move forward into the channel between the opposition fullback and the opposition centre-back it's this channel that we know all about that really is where teams need to get towards this then opens up space and opens up opportunities for a lot of people if we move Sabitzer forward just a little bit it automatically will drag people forwards drag people towards him and allow him to put crosses into the box just dragging players away will allow the likes of Bruno Fernandes to come into the center of midfield and then start switching the play around to Anthony you can already to see to see how the patterns of play can really evolve with Sabitzer in the side and with his high energy and his high stamina he has the ability to really come back and help Casemiro whenever he needs to he's also got a good link up play he was very good at doing that at RB Leipzig not so much in Bayern Munich, but he didn't play all too much in at RB Leipzig he was very good at linking up with players and then making forward runs to try and give them the opportunity to really drive forwards. Rashford I think can really benefit from this especially if he's playing out on this left hand side. He's very good at making deep lying runs and allowing and helping out his teammates to really go forwards. He's a very good addition with a good brain on him. He's got a good head on him and he's got a really good sense and a, and a clever sense of knowing when to push up space, when to go forwards and when to try to make sure that he's making the correct runs at the correct time. This is something you learn from experience, and it's experience that I think that Manchester United can really go with. And he can also play 1-2 as a Martial, he can do all the standard simple stuff, but it's, it's his deep-lying runs and it's his attacking formation that I really think is going to help Manchester United, especially when you're playing against the teams who want to sit in a lower block. The teams who are understanding that Man United are starting to really get into gear and starting to be offensively quite good. Anthony on this right-hand side is also going to benefit from this because obviously Sabitzer moving into this space is going to drag players away. Bruno Fernandes is not going to be the only main man marked now and it means and allows him to really drift into the spaces that he likes to be at. He can find those killer pinpoint passes but of course this also leaves Casemiro isolated. He can shuffle across whenever he needs to but his legs aren't exactly amazing and that's why I do actually think that Sabitzer is very good in this position because of his stamina. Although he's not defensively orientated I do think that Sabitzer is going to be able to make his runs backwards to be able to help out with the Manchester United team more often than 
whatnot. It's a very interesting system and an interesting way of going forwards. And it's actually your way that I think Manchester United can change their formation without changing too much about them. They all have their own separate roles and they all know how they want to go forwards and they all know how they want to play. But adding that little bit extra quality, adding that little bit extra oomph in Sabitzer. He's also got a better engine on him, which means that he's going to be better at pressing. Manchester United are slowly, slowly getting to grips with the idea of a pressing engine and a pressing forward motion. Martial will be the trigger for this, and it will allow Sabitzer and Rashford, Anthony and Fernandez, who all now have a good amount of pace to them to start pressurising the opponent. They want to be pushing further up the pitch. This allows Dallow, Varane, Martinez and Short to all have a higher line. If we move all of them forwards, it, they start to get up towards the halfway line, and that's extremely extremely useful when defending against balls over the top because it means that because of their pace and because of their positioning they're going to be able to catch people offside more often than not. In the end I do think this is where Eric Ten Hag is going to start leading this Manchester United team. I just think the lack of pace that Eriksen showed is something that I don't think they could have dealt with and I also think that keeping him in the side was something that was extremely necessary. He dictated tempo very very well but Sabitzer offers something a little bit more, a little bit more frontal, a little bit more front facing, something that's got a bit more aggression about it. Sabitzer is, is more of, of an attack dog rather than a silky playmaker and that's not to be disrespecting him. I mean all the respect in the world. He is an absolutely brilliant player and when he played at RB Leipzig he actually had a very good shot on him. He was able to shoot from outside the box, inside the box. He was very very good with the ball at his feet. Don't get me wrong, he's an extremely smart footballer with a wealth of ability and a wealth of talent and I think he would fit into this Manchester United side very very well not just because he's a very good football but also because he's very intelligent in the way he moves and the positioning that he takes he understands when to go and when to not and it's also something that Manchester United don't really have a runner beyond the striker a runner beyond the wingers Fernandez likes to do it occasionally but mainly what he likes to do is cut inside and try to play that pass I do think that there is a link up here and there is a possibility for a good link between Sabitz and Fernandez if Sabitzer goes, Martial can cross over, Rashford can come inside, and it gives so many more options for Bruno Fernandes to really start playing a pass. He can play a pass into the centre of midfield, he can play it through to Anthony, or he could switch the play over to Rashford. All of this seems very complicated, but it's actually very simple. The unlocking runs of Marcel Sabitzer, I think, will allow Manchester United to go forward and just add an extra dimension to their game. And in this pivotal point in the season, that might be exactly what they need. That's it for today, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed if you did please leave the video with a like and subscribe if you haven't for more content like this coming very soon make sure you hit that notification bell as well that you don't want to miss what's coming up in the near future and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on Marcel Sabitzer how do you rate the signing do you think it's good is it important that they got someone through the door to replace Christian Eriksen for the time that he is out and how much do you think he could impact this Manchester United team Man United fans I'm looking at you tell me how you're feeling do you think this is a good signing do you not do you think it's going to improve you going forwards or not let me know your thoughts but like i said that's it from me for today thank you ever so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and i hope to see you in the next one but until then my friends take care of yourselves and bye bye